Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Cocina. Today I am going to try to um, make uh, a basket for Easter for my girls and um, most of the products I got them at Dollar Tree. A couple of them I did got it at Walmart, but that is something that you can actually choose. Um, I also visit Walmart today and the basket at Walmart are like $25. Uh, and it's like a LOL with sticker. It brings a little, a couple of stuff. And um, I thought out that we, I can create that for less money. And I think it's like for less than twenty five dollars, you can maybe create your own basket too. Um, well, so this is what I I got at Dollar Tree. I got the peep uh, cotton candy. Um, and for this, I got two of them, of course, because I'm making two for Genesis and Eva. And, um, I also got this, um, it's almost like an egg that they can actually color for Easter. I thought it was like pretty, uh, cool. Um, they have different colors. They have blue, uh, yellow and red. And I think this is a very beautiful, beautiful combination for them to actually, um, Put together for Easter is almost like a little um, ornament that they can put together if they want to. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, they also had this. I don't even know what it is, but it's called. Let me see. They're saying, what do they call this? I don't know what they call this, but this is like basically a little um, plastic uh, toy that they can put the finger on it and they can play with it and you can squish it and. Um, that was one twenty five. They have a, like a little bit of confetti inside of it. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I love the color combination, especially for Easter colors. It's like yellow, it's pretty cute. Um, one twenty five, and I also got them this little nerd uh, rope uh, candy that I can put in there. You know, most of the basket comes with only two um, candies and uh, or three candies, and you're paying it. I'm gonna like for it. Um, then um you also got i also got this little basket they didn't have too many but i already i won today so keep in mind the later you go the less likely you're going to find things from the dollar tree that are going to be um to your standards i mean they had a bunch of them but i didn't really like really really didn't like them as much i like this one i thought the bunny uh, was pretty cute and it was white and I can put things into it. Well, those are the things that I got and of course I got two of those um, um, for each girl and because uh, I mean one for each but I got two uh, and that was like around $16 and I got one, two, three, four, uh, five items but being that you're paying $125, they turn out to be like I think it was sixteen dollars and something that we pay that we pay for everything. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's approximately how much we pay. But I did buy other stuff in the store, like I bought gloves. Um, I bought um, what else did I buy? I buy a glue um, that I normally get from Dollar Tree, so that didn't include that. So it might have been a little bit, a couple items that didn't were not included in the basket itself. But in total, it was like sixteen dollars, I think, that I paid for. It. Okay, so this is everything that came in from Dollar Tree. This is what I got from Dollar Tree, and that's what's gonna go into my girls' baskets. And I think it's gonna make a, a perfect addition. But keep in mind that only for one basket, Walmart is charging me twenty five dollars for it, and they might be cute. I mean, the one that I um that my my, my sister sent me some money. And that I did get them the the twenty five dollar one from my sister sent me forty dollars, but I put the extra ten dollars and I basically made it fifty, so I can buy them the LOL ones for twenty five dollars. And the only reason I did that was because um, I didn't want to do two baskets. I mean, I could have done it, but it would have been a little bit too much, and um, I didn't have enough time. But I know that I wanted to make my own basket for my girls so definitely i wanted to do that and the fact that i was able to do that for less than i would say 25 dollars less than 30 dollars for two baskets that's an amazing deal when i pay 50 for two of them that probably they have stickers they have a lol little cop which is cute you know that they are able to use that to carry on maybe during the summer and things like that but if you guys want me to show you the the um, 
the one that I got for $25 at Walmart. I'll show you that one. Um, once I'm done here, I'll probably go get it and, and show it to you guys because this is going to be a fast video. So what I did was I got this little um, fill, filler for uh, from Walmart and it was 50 cents that I got from Walmart and then I just filled it up in here. Um, and that's what the basket is going to be consisting on. So basically, I just put this in here. The only thing I'm missing is the wrapping. I didn't find it at the Dollar Tree, but normally they have like the plastic wrapping that if I would have find it, it would have been amazing. I would have wrapped it and then use my um, blower to, to try to, but I think my girls are gonna love it regardless of what I do. They're gonna love the effect. So all you have to do is grab your basket, right? And I'm gonna move this back a little bit so you guys can see it better. So I'm gonna, you're gonna grab your basket and you're gonna start putting in the things. Another thing that I got at a dollar um, Walmart was this, and I think I I might have paid like maybe two dollars or three dollars. It was pretty cute. It was like this little um, it almost like a baby inside wrap, and you have a surprise inside. And I got this a while back. So um, you might not be able to find this, but I say you can get anything that costs $2 that has some clearance on toys and put it in the basket and make it a little bit more um, high up and you don't pay that much. But I think I paid $2 for that. I believe this was pretty cheap. It was like a game and it's called uh, Penguin Pile Up. And it's this kind of game that the girls can play and you can add it to your basket. And you know, this is precisely what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in the back of the basket right here. And then I'm going to start putting all the stuff that I have, like the peeps, right? So you wanna put the peeps in there. Let's show you up here. You wanna put the peeps. And, and then I'm gonna put this, um, almost like a little bottle here in the center of it right there. I'm gonna go put the little egg, that colorful egg in here, and you can either put it in the back or the front. I normally try to put it in the front so they can see that they have coloring stuff that they can do. And you can put a little bit more candy on the side here. I mean, I, they don't, I don't have to put too much candy for them because they really don't need to get and of course, you can't miss that toy that we got at Dollar Tree. So this is actually the, the combination of me putting together. And you can put it in many, many ways. This is just one of them that I'm pre preparing right here. So this is actually pretty cute. You have this basket here. And if you find, if you find this, the wrapping paper, uh, the, the basket wrapping from um from dollar tree oh my god that's gonna make your basket amazing i'm not sure if i'm gonna find it but this already is a great basket that my girls are going to love because i put them together um by myself and we spent less than 20 or 25 30 dollars and i didn't get one i get two because obviously i bought the same items for my uh genesis and i put the same items in here too so she have the peeps she have that uh that little bottle thing that I, that, that i had extra one on she had this this toy and she had that egg that you basically put together i love the fact that you can actually um add any game that you want so you can go to the walmart um there's an area in the toy area where you actually get like little games where you can put this is called a sloth and this one i'm going to give to genesis and the sloth is pretty cool because you have like a little combination on the back of the two other games that you can play and this is something that you can take on the go and you can you guys can put it in in a in a basket and make it like a little bit of your own and i can say i, I don't know how much i spend on, the, on those games but i'm pretty sure that i got them on sale because they were in my closet where i get stuff on sale i would say two or three dollars max so i was a between the toys i might have spent like maybe um less than ten dollars but um but that is like a basket that you can actually enjoy and that you kids can enjoy too. I love the fact that, that this actually here, you can actually show. Um, and when you present it to them, they are going to be super excited about it because they're going to be um, loving everything that is going to be on that basket. Okay, I'm gonna show you the one that I got from, um, from Walmart, uh, which was the one that my sister sent me for to get for the girls so i'm gonna go and get it and show you and hopefully 
I'll be fast on that. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Okay, uh, so this is the basket that I got at Walmart, and I have to say they do arrange it pretty nice. They do have a little bit of um, a little tote bag that have all the little L girls in it, and and in here they have sixty four stickers. They have a JoJo. They have a puzzle, but my the thing that I found the cutest one was that little bottle that they have here. Um, I don't know if it was worth the $25, but it was definitely pretty good. They do have charcoal, chalk, chalk, uh, chalk to, uh, to play outside. And then I think they have a little frisbee on top of here. So that was pretty good. Um, I really, really like it. I thought it was pretty cute. And when you don't want to um, do your own basket, which is possible... Um, you can actually do, um, what you can do is just get them at Walmart and I think $25 is a little steep when you can actually spend basically the same amount of money or $25 for two of them when you can get them together, uh, uh, um, when you can do it yourself, but to each his own. If you're not, not able to, to, uh, find those things, um, inexpensive at walmart i recommend you to actually try to uh pick this up it's 25 dollars um i mean you can save money by making this and or you can actually um buy one pre-made already and the only reason i did that was because my my sister sent me money and i wasn't ready for making one for them too but if I had time, I probably would have gone to the dollar store and actually bought more stuff, like maybe a week or two prior to um, Easter. But um, I just got it recently, so it, it wasn't like I had time for it. So I just figured i get something fast. But this is a fast one. This is the one that I actually planned for, and I did it. I think I did a pretty good job of getting it together. You guys let me know. What do you think? Will you pay the $25 or maybe spend... Uh, fifteen dollars for this um and this one is actually pretty cute it brings a basket um the only thing i don't have is the wrapping ceram around it but look if you go to the dollar store and you find it ahead of time you do the ceram wrap and you wrap it all around and it, it does become a you can make it a basket yourself the only thing that's missing is the, the wrapping paper but um, my girls are gonna receive it like this, and they're gonna love this basket because these baskets are gonna are gonna be. They have a little bit of candy. They have a little bit of, of drawing. They have a little bit of surprise with that little thing, little gift inside of it that they don't know what they're getting. They have a little game in here, and they have more toys in there. So they have everything that they can think of or they want. So I definitely recommend you know make it in your own, but you can also make uh, if you don't have time for it. I recommend it. Go, go to Walmart and pick some of them up. Depending on what your girls or boys like, that's what you should go for. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a quick video. I'm not going to spend a lot of time um, telling you that, um, that um, 
the basket uh, is pretty simple. Uh, I think I might have spent, well, there's only like six items there. So I might have spent like $14 maybe, $14 or $15 at Dollar Tree. And I got like literally, um, I mean, let me see, one, two, three, um, one, two, three, four, five. So I have five. So that's, uh, like I said, it was 10 um, and 10 items plus the 25 cents that goes with it. So that's like, um, like $15 approximately. I, I would think that that's how much I spend, but it was worth it because I'm making, I made, I was able to make two of them and you know, you get to take advantage of those things when you actually uh, find them on sale at Walmart, go for it. When you find it for a dollar, go for it. I find uh, little uh, figurines. It could be it could be a figurine, it could be whatever you want, but it's going to make it your own and it's going to be perfect because you're putting whatever you you you, you find on sale and then you know that your girls will love, all boys will love. And that's my recommendation. I say don't spend more if you can spend less. And definitely this is actually um, put together and I spent less than $30 for two of them. Meanwhile, this one was $50 and I spent... Um, this one was $50 for two of them. So the comparison is like, I mean, it wasn't, it, it was $15 for this. And I would say $25 was the max that I spent on the extra toy that I bought for them to put in there. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, you can make two difference. You can either choose to pick a basket uh, from um, Walmart, or you can also make your own and make it just perfect just the way it is. You don't have to spend too much money. And I'm pretty sure my girls are gonna love whatever comes in those baskets because they are made with a lot of love. And like I said, when you make things with love, they always gonna enjoy it. And that is it for today. I, I see you next time on V's Casino. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you next time. And if no one tell you, you're special just the way you are. I'll see you next time. Bye.